And hello YouTube, this is JS Man Smart, and I'm going to another brand new video for tutorials to JS. In today's tutorial, we're taking a look at how to reduce the amount of internet bandwidth that you are using when you're uploading your YouTube videos. Some of your, so some of your other programs can go a bit faster, and so you can have lower ping on any games that you're playing, and just a better experience when uploading YouTube videos. A lot of us tend to max out our upload. A speed when uploading to YouTube and that tends to make everything go slow sometimes if you're on Skype uh, calls may drop or your voice may sound a bit robotic and sometimes if you're playing any games like League of Legends your ping may be really high and your internet may generally just be slow now this is very normal so what you'll need to do is actually uh, get a network limiter or a bandwidth usage limiter so that's going to be showing you how to do today because it can be very useful. Now here you see me uploading a fairly large file and uh, near the bottom here you see that I, I've actually downloaded a program called Net Balancer, which shows me my download and my upload speeds. Right now I'm downloading at about 700 uh, KB per second and I'm downloading right now not very much at all. So I've actually limited my upload here. Usually my upload is about 2 MB a second, sometimes even 3 MB a second. But that just makes my computer, that makes everything go fairly slow. And it, it makes my Skype sound robotic and when I'm playing any game, the ping goes super high. So what I've done is actually limited to just under 1 MB. You can still limit it to 1 MB or 1.5 MB. You gotta play around with the settings. And the program I'm using, and let me just cancel this now I've already actually let's keep it here for now because I'm going to show you how to uh, limit it so the program I'm using is called net balance which is this right here it is a free program there is a buy version available but quite frankly you don't even need to buy it because the only thing we're interested in is limiting and prioritizing our download and upload speeds so that things aren't slow so all you gotta do is click download here at the bottom and then it'll bring you to this page and then you can just press download here. I will leave a link to this in the description so you can take a look at the program yourself and download if you want to download it. As you see, you can there's also a buy, there's also a buy version here, but uh, completely not really needed. Once you've downloaded it and installed it, the process is fairly easy. Uh, you'll basically get the window open, which looks like this. Now automatically you'll also get uh, at the bottom of your taskbar, which is very useful right here, it tells you how much you're uploading and how much you're downloading. And as you can see here, Chrome right now is uploading the most out of everything. So what you can do is just right click the process here, go to upload priority, and you can set upload priority to low, to normal, to high, you can block it even. Uh, you can also limit it, so you press limit here. You can actually enter a value here for how much you want to limit this. If I want to limit this to, let's say, only 500 KB per second, it'll automatically adjust that. And you can see that at the bottom here, this will be adjusted as well. It just takes a bit to load. And there we go. Now we're only uploading. We categorize by up, up rate again. As you see now, we're uploading just under 500 KBS, and that makes everything else run a bit faster because we're using less of our internet for Chrome. Now you have Internet Explorer or Firefox. You wanna find that process on this list and right click it. If you just wanna upload as fast as possible, you can do the same thing. You can just go to upload and you can go to high or you can go to limit and set the limit to a max value, say 6,000 which would be roughly around six MB per second. And when you do that, you can see your upload rise again at the bottom. We are rising again. Now, if you, if you run into a problem where you wanna prioritize certain programs, what you can also do is just right click and prioritize this to, let's say, upload to high or normal or low. And then you can prioritize other programs like Skype to high, or you can prioritize your games to high as well. And this helps as well. So there's a free program you can download, it. link is in the description, and it is very helpful. And it's pretty cool that they add a little 
a little task icon at the bottom of your taskbar so you can constantly monitor to see how much you're downloading how much you're uploading there's a nice little graph here as well that updates as well as you can see when i put it down to uh 500 or whatever number i put you can see in the graph there it went all the way down and now we're, we're all the way back up again so that's kind of how the program works it's kind of how you can use it and uh, hopefully it helps you out hopefully it solves some of your troubles when uploading it definitely solved some of my troubles because I always had problems with uploading. Uh, sometimes I would usually pause my uploads or want to cancel my uploads until I was done again and then, then I would basically continue to upload. Well, here it's very easy to control and you don't need to fiddle around with constantly pausing or canceling the upload and then re-uploading it and then waiting some more. Uh, here you can actually control it however you want. So hopefully you enjoyed the video, hopefully you learned something, and if you did, go and check the program out. If you liked this video, if you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, you found some of my other videos helpful, such as the computer speed up tricks, such as my GIMP guides, Photoshop guides, other types of tutorials, you can always donate a dollar to my Patreon. All you gotta do is click on the top right corner of the card, and you can donate as low as a dollar. Anything as low as that is always helpful, and always very much appreciated. I also have a tutorials channel, which is this one right here, a gaming channel, advice channel, vlogging channel, and a music channel. If you want to check those out, you can go ahead and check in the description, as well as click on the channels on the end card that you're about to see. And with that, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, as always, and this is GSMan Smart, and I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.